Hello and welcome to Collective Worship for this week. This week we're going to be hearing the story of Peter and Jesus after Jesus comes back alive. We're going to be thinking about what it means to forgive somebody and how we can do that in our own lives. But first, let's light our candle and say our gathering words. We meet in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Today's story takes place on a beach, a beach on the Lake Galilee, where Jesus' friends have gone back to fish. They can't work out what else they're supposed to do. So let's find out what happens in the story. I wonder if you have ever been to the beach. Maybe you've been to the beach here in our country, or maybe you've gone abroad to somewhere else. Maybe you've taken your bucket and your spade and built a sandcastle or lots of sandcastles. Maybe you've eaten an ice cream strawberry or one with sprinkles on the top. Our story today takes place on a very different beach. It's a beach where the disciples used to fish and they were fishermen if you remember when Jesus called them to be his friends. They worked very hard in their boat with their nets. And because they weren't sure about what they were supposed to do now that Jesus was back alive, they decided they would go back to fishing. However, it was really hard work. And on this particular morning, they hadn't caught anything. Jesus stood on the beach and watched them. And he said, you have no fish, have you? They answered him, no. He said to them, cast the net to the right side of the boat and you will find some. So they cast it out and now they were not able to haul in because there were so many fish. Peter suddenly looked up and said, it is the Lord. He put on some clothes and jumped into the sea and swam towards the beach. The other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land. When they had all come ashore, they could see that there was a charcoal fire with some fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Peter went and got a large fish. Come and have breakfast, said Jesus. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them and did the same with the fish. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus asked Peter to go for a walk with him along the shore. Jesus said to Peter, Peter, do you love me? Peter said, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. A second time, Jesus said, do you love me? Peter said, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And then a third time, Jesus said, Peter, do you love me? <laughs> Peter said, yes, Lord, I love you. Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to Peter, Feed my sheep then. Look after them, Peter, and follow me. And Peter, said Jesus, feed my lambs, look after them, and follow me. I wonder why Jesus asked Peter three times, do you love me? 
Peter got quite cross after the third time, saying, yes, of course I love you. You know that I love you. Stop being annoying and asking me the same question. I wonder why he did ask three times though. Can you remember in the Easter story when Peter denied Jesus three times? He said he didn't know Jesus, he didn't love him. And the cockerel crowed. In the Easter story, when the cockerel crowed, Peter felt terrible. He had always said he would be the best friend of Jesus and he would support him and love him to the end. And then he didn't. So when Jesus asks Peter three times, do you love me? He's asking him to make up for the three times that he said he didn't love him, that he didn't know him. Peter was scared when he said he didn't know Jesus. And now Jesus knows that and forgives him. I wonder what he meant when he said, feed my sheep look after them, feed my lambs, look after them and follow me. What do you think he meant? Perhaps you want to stop the video and have a chat with one another about what you thought he meant. So Jesus forgives Peter and they start all over again. A very special friendship that leaves Peter with a very big job to do, to look after all of the disciples and the people who will become Christians later to work with people all over the place from all the different parts of the world to make the church and to tell the story of Jesus, his special friend. I wonder then, have you ever been forgiven for something that you might not have intended to do like Peter, you might have been scared at the time or worried. Has anybody forgiven you? Let's have a moment of quiet to think about that. And what did it feel like to be forgiven? And on the flip side of that, have you ever had to forgive someone else for something they've done to you? And was it hard or easy to forgive them? I think it's really hard to forgive people sometimes. Depends on what they've done and what has happened but I think it's really hard to forgive people. And also, it's really hard to accept forgiveness. But that's what Jesus gives you and me every single day, because he died on the cross and came back alive again. And that's what he shows Peter in our story today. But he wants us to be forgiving, to forgive others as we are also forgiven. In the special prayer that Jesus taught us, he asked us to pray for forgiveness. I wonder if you know that prayer. It's called mm. the Lord's Prayer. And it goes like this. Perhaps you can say it with me if you know it. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Let's say our pr a prayer of our own. If you want to make it your prayer, you can say Amen at the end. Let's pray. 
Dear Jesus, thank you for forgiving Peter. Thank you for being our friend. Help us to forgive those people who need our forgiveness and help us to accept forgiveness when we do things wrong. Amen. So to finish our blessing. The strength of God be in your hearts, the peace of God be with everyone, and the love of God be between us all. Amen. Have a lovely week and Reverend Heather will be uh, making a video next week for you and she'll be talking about ascension. So until then, have a lovely week. Bye bye.